I'm Nicole. I'm Grace. I'm Heather. I'm Tabitha. And we are doing our project on um, positive thinking and positive self-talk. So we're going to start out by um, doing a role play um, just to show some ideas of positive thinking and, and positive self-talk. hard right now. I just can't do it. I understand that. Um, I have this this exercise worksheet that I brought in with me and it is it goes over positive thinking and self-talk. Um, if you have a couple of minutes I would like to to just go through all of this with you. Um, is that okay? Yes. Okay. So um, basically this is just kind of the way that you look at life. Um, everybody looks at life differently. Don't think negatively of yourself um, if you're more of a negative thinker. That's just it's kind of the normal thing. Um, so positive thinking doesn't mean that nothing bad happens to you. It just means that you're looking at it as a, from a better approach. Um, and there's something called positive self-talk. So self-talk is just kind of the thoughts that are always going on in your head. Um, and they can be positive or negative. Um, some of these come from logic and reason, and some of them are misconceptions that you create just from not having enough information about a situation, okay? Um, and then a lot of things, something that a lot of people don't know is um, this can, negatively affect not only your mental health, but your physical health as well. So it's very important to take it, to take it serious. So, yeah. So um, when you're identifying negative thinking, um, going forward in your life, this will help you when you start to have a negative thought to stop yourself and switch it to positivity. Um, so the first thing here is filtering, which is what some people do. And that just means that you mag magnify the negative aspects of a situation and filter out the positive ones. So if you find yourself doing that, try and stop and look at a situation like, well, even if this, if I don't have this, I do have this, if that makes sense. Um, and then the second one is personalizing. So this is when something bad occurs you automatically blame yourself. I know I'm guilty of this. Um, a lot of people are. It's just something that we kind of do, but just making sure that if something bad happens, you're not blaming yourself. The third one is catastrophizing. Um, so this is you automatically anticipate the worst of a situation. Um, so like an example of this, because sometimes this one's a little confusing in my mind, the drive through coffee shop gets your order wrong and you automatically think that the rest of your day is a disaster. So one little thing turns, you know, turns into something big. Okay. And then the last one I wanted to touch on is polarizing. So you see things only as either good or bad. There's no middle ground. And there's always middle ground. I mean, it's, it's hard to look at it that way, but but you have to sometimes. And then Chris, if you want to go over some of this too with Nicole. Absolutely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Nicole, I have a few things here to add on for uh, helping you uh, coping with this uh, negative thinking. So number one is like, uh, first off, you need to identify the area that you need to change. Like, uh, you need to get out from the negative thinking area and then start uh, do the positive thinking and then try to focus on the positive thinking uh, that you're going to do. Like, for example, um, you want to start by focusing and get 
to meet a friend, or get a new project, or hang out with someone. Um, in a positive way. And then check yourself, you know, periodically to evaluate, you know, your progress. How is your thought now? Like, uh, you feel like you already have like, some progress you know, in the way that you are decide to change. And then always be open to humor. Humor is like, um, or humor or joke, you know, always get, you know, uh, along or, or uh, hang out with friends, you know, uh, which have a sense of humor. Because it's gonna help you um, get the positive vibe within your days. And then the other one is try to follow the healthy lifestyle, starting with exercise, probably in the morning. Uh, if you have have morning time, most of it is better morning time. Get thirty minutes, you know, for uh, exercise on most days of the week. So, or you can break out in ten minutes. During the day, so exercise will bring a positive vibe for you. You know, your mental, when you move, you need to some stress. So this is kind of like a, a technique to manage your uh, negative thinking. So you're gonna break the negative thinking and get a positive vibe. And then the forget the last but at least is surround yourself with positive people. You know, family, friends. When your classmate, you know, try to find or get hang out, you know, uh, with the positive people that always is telling you uh, the positive stuff. So, because why? Because negative people will increase your stress level. You know, so yeah, there's a a few things that I can add on for right now, just to make your you know Thank self you, feel better. All right, I think Tabitha is coming. Thank you, Chris. Hi, Nicole. Hi. How are you feeling about everything we're going over so far? Very um, helpful information so far. Good. So I just wanted to see if you're okay with it. Um, maybe we can practice some positive um, thinking phrases. You, I have this. Okay. Um, it's got some negative thoughts that you might encounter. You might come up with your own. But then I've got some positive thinking that might help you when you're stressed out or exhausted the next time. Okay. Um, maybe it'll help trigger, hey, I remember talking about this with uh, the girls and Chris, and uh, maybe you can utilize these instead of negative self-talk. Okay. Would you be okay with that? Yes. Okay. I've never done it before. So instead of saying you've never done it before, maybe you could take it in the direction of saying it would be an opportunity to learn something new. So think about it as a new experience or a new task or a new skill that you can achieve and, you know, add to your achievements. Okay. It's too complicated. Um, instead of saying it's too complicated, maybe just think of a different way you can um, accomplish that task instead by saying, I'll tackle it from a different angle or I'll try it this way instead of that way. I don't have the resources. Um, this one is the necessity is the mother of invention. So basically that's just saying use the people around you, the tools around you, um, anything that you can. You know, you might not feel like you have enough resources or even support, but um, reach out to people. I'm too lazy to get this done. Um, and so that one you could try. I wasn't able to fit it into my schedule, but can re-examine some priorities so that way can get it done. There's no way it will all work. Um, you can say, I can try to make it work. It's too radical. It's too radical a change. And on this one, you can just think, well, let's just take a chance. Maybe, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but that's not being negative. You're at least going to try, and maybe a positive outcome will come out of it, okay? okay. No one bothers to communicate with me. I'll see if I can open the channels of communication. So if you don't feel like people are calling you, maybe you can just try calling them, you know? I'm not going to get any better at this. And instead of just giving up or not taking another chance, just think, I'll give it another try. I'll try this one more time, okay? So these are just some things, and we can send this home with you. 
Um, but these are just some tools to help you think positively and hopefully maintain more of a positive aspect of yourself. Okay, do you have any questions? No, thank you. You guys have all been so helpful. Okay.